Well, let's go back to Mr. Gary Shukdar, gold. I did it again, Gary, MMR, and uh, see his bits and pieces for this evening. Gary? Uh, potential railroad components and everyday objects. What, what we're going to talk about tonight is uh, on bits and pieces is we're going to talk about stone walls. Now, I, I've been doing stone walls for a number of years. And um, as you can see, stone comes in different colors. So uh, what I do when I do a stone wall, and I've been using this method for years, is I take five colors of paint. Um, I don't know if you want to know the colors I use. You can use any colors you wish, but you number them one to five. And what you do is you take your stone wall, you paint it gray. Then you take number one and randomly place those colors on that stone wall. Then you go to stone two or color two, randomly the same thing all over the wall with the second color and then your third color. And then we go with our fourth color and last, we go with our fifth color. Now, as you can see, there's a number of gray stones still in here. So what I do is I start with number one again, and I lay down the number one color, not touching number one color anywhere else on the stone. And that'll leave you uh, with your stones pretty much uh, covered in different colors, plus a few grays here and there. And then what I do is I take some hunter line shale and I put the shale over my finished product. And this is what I end up. It tones from here, tones everything down to here. And it's uh, quite impressive as you can see from the first photo I showed you. Now, this is another wall I had done on a kit and there is no, um, blending with the uh, stain on this one. It, it came out fairly well and using the same method. Now, if you use this method, you'll have uh, really nice stone work. It can be used on uh, buildings, uh, retaining walls, uh, anything to do with stone. And that's bits and pieces for tonight, Jim. Well, Gary, I, I'm impressed. I think that really is uh, something. What was the stain that you put on it to tone it down? What was the name of it? It's uh, Hunter Line Shale. Shale, okay. Shale, S H A L E. Boy, that really, a, that really it's a, Sorry, it's that a was... grayish color stain. And what it does is when you put it on, it, it, uh, it, it's very thin and it blends everything. It, it takes that on this side, it's very high contrast. Now, some people like this to leave yeah. their rock this way. But what I like to do is tone it down. And as you can see, it blends everything in. It, it makes nice uh, mortar uh, lines and then uh, sort of takes away that sharp colors and blends it all in together. Beautiful job. Thank you so very much, Gary. You're very welcome. Thank you.